this video is for you workaholics out there. So um, I think most of us are aware when we're on that workaholic spectrum, you know, essentially you were raised with the idea that you need to be productive all the time. Like if you aren't doing something now, then there's something wrong. So this video is really covering what are the things that you can do to break free from the workaholic cycle? And there's actually a lot of things that you can do. One of the things is learning how you talk to yourself and the way that you talk to yourself that is basically keeping you stuck in that workaholic cycle. So is this you? You've somehow convinced yourself to take some self care. So you're like, all right, I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch a movie because I'm supposed to do something for myself. But as you sit there, here's what you're thinking to yourself. I should be doing this. I should be, I should be getting this done. I can't believe I'm sitting here. I need to be doing this. I need to be doing that. So this is an example of you not being present at all for self care and actually adding emotional workload to your self care. So the very thing that's supposed to be helping you or making you relax, is causing more, more emotional terror. Yeah, you're an emotional terrorist. So anyhow, what part of what you need to do is give yourself full permission. So the internal monologue sounds like, it's okay to take a break, it's okay to slow down. And you have to, like, you're gonna have to do this a lot because as a workaholic, it's been ingrained in your psyche for years that it's not okay to take a break. So like, even to the point that some of my workaholics won't even take a lunch break at work. And so it might look like, hey, it's o it is normal to take breaks. It is okay to stop work and actually eat food and slow down for just 20 minutes. And you might like, that's the other thing. It, so I, I would break this down into the way you talk to yourself and the way you behave. Part of it is also like behaviorally setting very clear boundaries that are forcing you to get into these habits. Because what I've noticed is some people are more cognitive, some people are more behavioral, and some people are more emotional. And there's like a blend of them, obviously, that you'll probably have to work on. So if you're more behavioral, it might be setting very clear boundaries. Like, nope, I am forcing myself to do a work lunch where I actually, I stop work, I leave it at the office, I drive somewhere, I sit, but then still the cognitive work that I'm suggesting here is a self-compassion. It sounds like it's okay to take a lunch. It's okay to take a break. People take breaks. This is normal. <laughs> You'll have to talk yourself essentially through these boundaries you set for yourself until you actually believe it. And that's the emotional part. So like I'm basically breaking this down. Behavior, thoughtful, emotional. Like you'll probably have to coach yourself a few times before you honestly feel that sense of it is okay. It is okay for me to do this. And the emotional part of it is just mindfully being present as you take the break. So like when you go to lunch, be mindfully present of the physiological experience in your body. Are you still in go, go, go? Or are you allowing it to settle and slow down? Are you actually eating your food and noticing the sensations of the taste? Or are you just like I'm taking a break? I'm taking a break. I gotta get, you know, like that's, that's not being present. <laughs> so to be fair, this is actually three parts essentially there's behaviorally setting very clear boundaries that force you to do self-care there's emotionally being present for the sensations of a break and there's cognitively giving yourself full permission to take the break and and it's noticing when you say these things to yourself like oh i should be doing this why am i not doing this this is so wrong like those are the ways that you emotionally keep yourself from taking a real break and so with working on all three of those pieces, then you can actually start to enjoy a vacation, enjoy a lunch from work, possibly have downtime and like leave your work at work. For example, that's another boundary, a behavioral boundary. Some people said is at 6 p.m. Once I close that door to the office, it's closed and it's really closed. So if you would like to see me, please submit a contact form to therapistinstlouis.com and also if you would like more videos like this, please like and subscribe.